the Procurer Packs of Punch, and we're going to show you how to take it into dangerous areas. All of this doable if you're a new bro or a veteran alike. Ladies and gentlemen, Loru here, digital advertiser, content creator, and even Jire for the better part of 10 years now. And this is the Procurer. We're going to give you a couple fits. The first one is a high sec fit. This one's just going to be in the description for you to copy and paste. Very similar to our Retriever. But we're not here to just do high sec stuff because the Procurer is very different from the Retriever in that it is a brawler. Its ship's bonuses primarily focus around drone damage hit points, shield hit points, not so much on the actual mining of the asteroid. We do not have as big of an ore hold as the Retriever has that runs 16k versus the Retriever. It's looking at something like 30, I think. But I have to go look back at my other video. Thank you very much. Okay. What the Procurer does have over the Retriever is multiple drone styles. The Procurer does not need outside protection. Okay. You can have your ice harvesting drone on the belt. And when the rats warp in or when that solo ganker warps in, you're going to be able to defend yourself with your own DPS drones or get out with your anti gank drones and salvage whatever's left with your MTU sucking up stuff. You got the options. This is what the Procurer does best. It is because of this that I recommend getting the Procurer as your first ever mining barge if you're a newer player. There are a lot of things you can do with this besides just going ice mining. Look for those videos. Starting off in the highs, we are going to be using two Tech 2 Ice Harvester 2s. No ore miners here. We're going into dangerous space and you have to assume you're going to lose a ship, especially if you're new. Only fly what you can afford. From there we go into the mids, we do have a multi-spectrum shield hardener and a compact afterburner. No matter what I did with this, I could not get the align time underneath 10 seconds. You can use the afterburner and not a very expensive one at that to do the afterburner, afterburner pulse trick. What you can do when you're aligning to something, when you're trying to warp, is you pulse your afterburner once, turn it on, turn it off, and that 10 seconds, 7 seconds, whatever it is, depending on your skills, is going to help you to achieve warp faster than the 15 second align time that the Procurer has. With the multi-spectrum shields hardener enabled, we are going to get 61,000 EHP. This is way bigger than the Retriever, way bigger. And this is one of the reasons why the Procure is considered a brawler. With this fit, we aren't going to show you how to take it into low sec. I know, let's be brave now. You can also take this fit into wormhole space, but that's outside the scope of this video. More to come. For the lows, we simply have two Count them to Ice Harvester Upgrade 2s. Yield is still king with a mining ship. You have to make sure you maximize your yields. We do have a single damage control too, just because for the slot, for the one of, it makes you massively more tanky. If we just have it like this as a base, you can see we've got 40,000 EHP. If we click it, we go up to 52,000. That's 12,000 more effective EHP with just a single item. Fantastic. Thank you very much. For the rigs, we are going to have two, count them to medium core field extenders. This is going to increase your shields and also one ice harvester accelerator too. Because we're doing ice again, we want to maximize the yield where we can. For our drones, as you can see, we do have a single ice harvesting one. We got five DPS drones, four anti-gank drones, one salvager one. You don't necessarily need to go expensive with these. Just bring the best drones you can. I do recommend getting the DPS rank two drones. In your cargo space, you are going to bring a single MTU just because when you kill rats, you want to be able to suck up the wrecks. Have them close to you. That way you don't have to be taxiing around. This is a slow ship. We only go 247. You got a big booty. All that armor. Look at him though. One of my favorite things about the Procure is how beefy it looks. It's got all the shields on the other side. Ah, I love it. Now that we've talked about the fit, we're going to talk about how we're going to use this and how you're going to set up your own low sex staging ground. First thing you're going to do is find the ice. We talk about this in our other videos, but you go into the agency tab, go to home resource harvesting, ice belts, and then you're going to play with the locations to find one that's close to you. Typically, for the sake of this video, we're going to go into a specific area, the forge. This is close to Jitta, and find an ice belt that's in low sec. I found this one, Ob, Ob, sure. You're going to right click it, show on map. This is going to pull it up on your map. Now, follow me here. There's a couple things you have to look at when you're setting up your low sex staging, because for a newer player specifically, you're most likely going to go into the belt, mine the ice, drop off the ice in a safe spot, in a safe station, go back to mining on the belt. This is going to keep happening. We are going to have videos coming out about how to haul your ice and how to haul your ore in general, especially if you're a veteran player looking to use an orca, sub for that video. But for a newer player, you're going to be doing just that, the A to B to A to B back and forth. So here's how you're going to set up your low sex staging ground. Once you've found a spot in low that has ice, 
you're going to look for three things specifically. You're going to look for, is it close enough to a market? You don't want something that's 30 jumps away. Even with your hauling uh, ships, you're going to be too far away. It's going to waste your time. You also want a system that is close to a high sec area of space. That way you can drop off your ore, your ice, whatever it may be, your gas in a high sec NPC owned station and know that it's safe. You don't want to drop off your ore in a player owned station. We're going to show you how to be able to tell the difference. Drop off your ore, leave it there. It's safe. And then it gets blown up and then all your hard work is gone. Why high sec? Why not just deposit your stuff in low sec? You're going to be mining in low sec. Why not just deposit it there? When you go into low sec with your hauler, you are now going to be susceptible to those lovely gate camps and you don't want to have to deal with that. You're already there with your procurer. Drop off your stuff in a high sec area. Go back to mining. Keep it going. The third thing you want to look for is you need to know if your low sec staging area is close to a player owned station that has a compressor enabled. This is the reprocessing module. We're going to get to that. For the sake of this example, we've used our agency to find OB. We've right clicked it again, show on the map. We see that it is close, in fact, to a high sec area. Two jumps is A-OK, -okay, close enough. And this is a nice little low sec area. Maybe if it's not ice, we can just mine ore in the meantime. You don't just have to use this for ice. You can use it to set up going to mine ore in low sec or gas, depending on the cosmic signatures. Another video coming. Now that we know this is close to a high sec spot, we have to figure out where the player owned structures are. If you don't know, you can right click a system in your map, press F10 to get to your map, show info. You can go to stations. These are all the NPC owned stations. These are not player owned stations. I have, I know for this example that this Uchosi, Uchosi, fantastic, has a player owned station, not NPC. You're going to see stations, structures route. Structures are player owned stations deployed in space. If I go back to Mastakomon, fantastic. And there's no actual structure tab here because there isn't any player deployed structures there. So let's go back. Let's check on what the structure has. We go to right click the structure, show info. You're going to go to services and we see it does not have a reprocessing fit. This means that this Oster house is not going to be able to be used for compressing our ice. So it's a no go. I can tell you that this I've gone through all of these and there are no other player owned stations in this area. So this is a good bad example. Ob is a little bit far from Jitta. Uh, it's 18 jumps from where I currently am, but it's about 25 ish from Jitta itself. The closest high sec is two jumps away, not one. You want to get it one jump within reason, but two jumps is, uh, is okay. The kicker is there's no player owned compressor station within this little circuit here. There might be one in these, but once you start getting two or three jumps away, it's a little too far to drop off stuff, dealing with all that hauling. This is a good, bad example. So just to sum up how you find your low sec staging area, you use the agency to find where ice typically spawns. You see if that spot is close to high sec within reason. You see if that high sec drop off is close Close enough to player owned structures that can compress your ice. It is vital you compress your ice before you start trying to get it back to the market and sell it. And before we move on to some even better tips and tricks, you are a decent ways away into a Lore Mirth gaming video. This is our hashtag secret call out of the, of the video. And as you know, we are spreading the Christmas cheer for all to hear. And if you literally want to win the ship featured in this video, valued at 151 million, all you have to do is go into the comments below, type, I want that ship, Loru, and also include your in-game name. I see your YouTube name. Let me know who you are in-game. We choose a random winner a couple days after the video's released. So Merry Christmas to the winner of this. Christmas is coming soon, three weeks away. Can you believe it? If you want the ship, you know what to do. Thanks very much. And we are about to pass 2,400 subscribes as of the recording of this video. And as always, I just want to say thanks. We got one more big tip for you. Let's dive in. When you're doing your low sex staging, let's say we are going to be going into OB and use this area as our low sex staging. You don't necessarily want to go there first with your prospect. It's a bit of an expensive ship and it's not so slippery. It's got a low align time and you can't easily close with it, you would have to sacrifice one of your ice harvesters. What I recommend is you go and do this in your endurance or your prospect first. We have a whole video about our endurance. Go check it out. It's a very slippery fit. When you go into low sec with your endurance, sit there and go mine on the belt. Check out the locals. See how many gankers are present. Watch the area. Go to Z killboard. See how active this area is for kills. You want to make sure where you're setting up is not so trafficked. You're never safe in Eve, but you don't want to go to some place that code black flag 
flag or safety are constantly going into trying to gank anybody and everybody they can find with their roaming band of frigates. You already know what it is. We have a ton of ice mining videos coming out in the next coming weeks. We are going to be doing an ice mining fit for at least every single ore video. We've got exhumers. We've got the barges. We've got the orca coming for you. Make sure you sub for that. Thanks very much. Leave a like if you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video.